This video will describe the estsetup.rs file, which is included with the ESD complete test case provided with ICV perk. The purpose of this setup file is to set necessary options needed for an ICV perk run. What type of run is it? Is it checking ESD topology, or is it a current density point to point resistance run? Also, certain input files such as star and LVS run sets need to be included. Paths to these files will be established in the perk ESD setup file. Also, different amounts of current and violation levels can be selected for current density or point to point runs. Those are also set in this file. Additionally, top level port nets must be specified for ESD verification, both topology and current density point to point resistance type checks. Powers, grounds, and IO ports, not just top level nets, must be identified in this file. While the ESD setup.rs files have already been filled out for you in both the layout and netlist mode checking, the aim of this video is to provide a little bit more information about the variables included inside these files. The file being viewed now is for the netlist mode, but the layout mode looks very similar. The differences will be described. Power nets, ground nets, and IO nets are top level ports in your design, which must be identified as one of these three types of ports. Top level nets are not accepted in a perk run. They must be LVS extracted ports to be properly identified in each one of these lists. For the purpose of this example, wildcards are not accepted in these lists and port level nets should be described explicitly as shown here. The top cell is the top cell of your design. And in this case, the netlist file is an explicit path all the way to and including the name of the uh, netlist file which will be performed with the checking. If this was a layout run, a layout file, a GDS or OASIS, would be provided to the variable in this section. When setting up the run, it's important to determine if this is a netlist or a layout mode type run. If it's a netlist mode, netlist only checks are run and ICV input data is a SPICE or ICV netlist. If it's a layout type run, it can be a netlist type check for topology checking, current density, or resistance checks. LVS must be performed for these checks as it is layout based. The LVS run set would actually be need to be explicitly listed out in the LVS run set variable. Now this is already done for you, but if you chose to change this to a different LVS run set for testing, this variable would need to be updated. The current density switch indicates if we're going to run both current density and point-to-point -point resistance checking in a layout mode check. Point-to-point -point is always run by default, but if this variable is defined, current density will be run as well. The source current can be changed. While it's set to an automatic value for you, it can be modified in this file itself, as well as the CDM source current, which would be overriding the foundry settings for both of these. The CD constraints can be set to either HBM or CDM for different levels of current density constraints during your checking. And the CD error percentage multiplier is just a way to normalize your current density results to a different set of values if you were using a different normalized set of values for your type of checking. The NXT GRD file is also known as the star RC file, and this must be provided for a current density or point to point resistance run. All these variables have been filled out for you, so they shouldn't need to be changed for the purpose of this example. But if you wish to explore on your own, please feel free to change any of these variables during one of your runs. This concludes our introduction to the ESD perk setup file. If you have any questions or comments, please contact your ICV perk representative. Thank you.